Hi there, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences. Today's video is something very different and I'm very excited to do. So today we're going to start testing swabbing people's cell phones. It's absolutely incredible what we see in the blood in regards to bacteria and parasites. And I've been doing this a long time. I've been doing this over 17 years. I've actually done this test before with some doctors and it was extremely eye-opening what was grown on their cell phones. So we're gonna do it again in clinic with some of my staff and some of the receptionists because they don't know it's coming. They don't know I'm gonna be coming out asking to swab their phones, so they have no chance of cleaning them in between. And we can really get a good idea of what we're gonna find. So I've ordered this kit from Amazon, um, and it's a, it's a kit I've used before, so I feel really confident with it. And what we're gonna do is one of our staff, Emily, who I'm gonna introduce you to in, in a short time, um, she's going to be making these agar kits. Um, there's a special way of doing it. We need to follow the instructions um, and what we need distilled water. It can't be done without distilled water. But one thing I wanna note about cell phones and what the increase we have seen on phones is when I started uh, 17 years ago, we had flip phones. You know, we didn't have the glass surfaces that were introduced when iPhones introduced smartphones. The glass surface is a porous area. It's bacteria can harbor on these glass surfaces and I do believe there is a correlation to the amount of bacteria we are seeing in people's samples. People don't clean their cell phones and you really should be and I can link below some of the glass cleaners that I do recommend through Amazon. So we're gonna get this experiment started. I'm on the other side of the camera here. This is Emily. She's the receptionist here and my science helper today. She's gonna to help make our agar kits so that we can culture and see what grows on um, from our cell phones. So Emily, what are you doing here? So we are going to just pour 350 milliliters of distilled water into our container here. Yep. And then we're gonna mix the actual agar into it. We're gonna mix it in our bowl and then that's what goes into our slides. Amazing. And then we just use these these swaps that come with it. We will show you once we get the agar ready to go. So Emily has finished making our petri dishes. Here they are. It was a little messy as you can see. Um, that's okay though. So stay tuned. We're gonna start petri dishing and swabbing people's phones this week. Here we are again at our front desk. This is Crystal. You've met her in our other grounding video. If you haven't seen that video yet, it's a great one. So what we're going to do here is we are gonna swab our phones. We have Crystal's phone here and we're going to see what that grows in the next three or four days. So I'm gonna give Crystal one of those. We also have the owner of this, uh, of the practice here, Holly, we have her phone. Um, so we're gonna swab her phone and also see what we've got. And of course, we're gonna swab mine. So let's start with Crystal's. We've got our um, Petri dish, which you saw made. So what we're gonna do is flip your phone over. We're gonna take the swab and we're gonna go back and forth, getting in all the corners that you can. While you do that, I'm gonna do Holly's phone. I'm gonna get right down the side, right where the buttons are. Now I've done this before and it's pretty interesting what comes up on this. So Crystal, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go side by side, very gently rolling. Okay, turn the dish, do it again. Roll. I just wanna make sure everything's on here. All right, so I'm gonna close this up for Holly. Yours looks pretty good. Maybe do just a little bit more there. We wanna make sure we have the coverage. Perfect, all right. So we're gonna put the lid on crystals and we're gonna see what that grows in the next little bit. So here we are, day four 
of growing uh, on our petri dishes what we find on phones. So this is really interesting as day three we're starting to see different things being grown. Here's one from Crystal's phone um, which is showing really interesting. She's got some red circles which definitely this is some kind of other uh, bacteria. What we're going to try and do is um, we're going to try and zoom into these things in a little bit uh, to see if we can see these more close up. Another one which is really interesting is a client of mine. We are seeing all sorts of different bacteria also growing on that. But what's really interesting, see how it's green? Uh, that is bacteria that does grow on our skin. Um, and it is pretty normal to see this on cell phones as we do talk with it up against our skin. Um, this is my phone. Now, I do clean my phone regularly, um, but we're still seeing some uh, simple bacteria growing on that. And we're also seeing from Carrie's phone here, um, also some simple bacteria, but she also has some of that nice green stuff growing at the corner there. So we're gonna keep growing this for about another two days, um, and then we'll take a look. So this is day five of growing bacteria on our phone um, and we've grown some pretty interesting things. Um, what I will be showing you on screen is somebody grew some black mold. We've also had some green mold grow as well, which we looked in the previous clip. Um, the black and green seems to look quite uh, a bit the same on screen. Uh, we've also had some red bacteria grow, some kind of peach color grow, and then a lot Lot of the milky white bacteria grow which I think is a little bit more of a simple bacteria uh, that we see common in the live blood from surfaces things like that then I'm going to give you some tips on how to keep your cell phone clean in some different things that I've seen so here we are looking at the black mold I'm gonna move around here as you can see um, we're seeing a lot of different branching up uh, from the mold um, and you can also see that it's quite black uh, and quite pronounced. Um, this could mean the individual does have black mold growing in their home from perhaps picking it up on their phone from air uh, particles. So we're gonna look at another form of bacteria that we're seeing, um, which I'm going to zoom into more of the peach bacteria. Here is what the peach bacteria looks like. Um, I'm noticing it's quite hard to get an image as the bacteria is a shiny substance, so I can't seem to get um, it zoomed right in to be able to see the substance. Here is it kind of growing outside of the sample here, and as I move around, we've got very smooth edges to this bacteria. This is really interesting what we're seeing here that has been grown on one of the Petri dishes. This is a fungal component that's grown and I can tell that because we're seeing all of these little branches on here. Um, so this is definitely very interesting to see this zoomed in um, of one of the kind of green components that is on the agar Petri dish. This is also very interesting on one of the Petri discs. I can't really get this in any more um, in sync here so we can see it. But this is a very circular bacteria that's red um, that we saw on one of the phones. Um, so this is really interesting to see this bacteria growing red. This particular agar sample too, when I took off the cover slip, I did actually notice that it actually smells a little bit from the, the bacteria that's growing. So that's really interesting. I'm gonna show you a few of what they look like on camera here instead of zoomed in. Here's the one that grew the most interesting things. You can see the red bacteria, which I did show earlier as well. Here's the one that is growing a little bit of black mold, a little bit of green mold, and I do believe some of the green mold is very common uh, to see in cell phones because it's also facial um, oils or facial bacteria or mold. As I zoom in here, show you here, uh, we're seeing very common bacteria 
bacteria, but it's quite large um, and quite uh, sporadic through the sample. And this is my phone. Um, I had a lot of different things growing on that as well, uh, but no crazy colors, no molds, things like that, which is a great thing to see. There are a few things you can do to keep your cell phone clean. This is a UV light cleaner. You put your cell phone in there, you press start, and it cleans the bacteria and things like, and viruses and so on off of your cell phone. Um, so this is very handy. I often use alcohol swabs just to clean my phone and then I wipe it down. Um, and I'm always surprised at what comes up from cleaning the phone with alcohol swabs. There are other cleaning surfaces out there for safety of the actual glass surface, as there's a lot of research saying that the glass, some th certain cleaning products like Windex does damage the glass. So you choose your form of cleaning your cell phone. But this is a reminder from me, make sure you clean your cell phone. So that is a wrap up to this video of what is grown on a cell phone.